Hi everyone, welcome back. I am Lou of Lou G's Angelic Connections and this is today's guidance message. So I have been drawn to use my Archangel Metatron deck, Self Mastery. We're still all in that phase, aren't we, of learning all about ourselves. As we grow, as we evolve, we become different people. It's all about learning all we can about ourselves. So I'm going to call in my angels, my guides and keepers of light. Please guide me at this time, which one message above all messages is in the highest good for us all to receive at this time? Which one message above all messages do we need to see today? There we go. Let's see what we have, shall we? Which one message? Just one message, please. Let's have a look. One message, please. Didn't come out. <laughs> there, that one did. <laughs> okay, we have the Akashic Records Evaluation and Review. As I was just saying, we're all getting to know ourselves as we're evolving and everything, looking at where we've been, deciding where we want to go, what we have learned, what we can take with us, etc. There's just so such an air of really all that deep work. And it's been here for weeks and we are still doing it. There's still more that needs to be purged. So it is card number 12 reduces down to the number three. For those of you that are interested. So I will hold this card here for you. So you can draw in the energies. Number 12, Akashic Records, Evaluation and Review. All you have done, been, seen or experienced is recorded in the Hall of the Akashic Records. These sacred texts are guarded and safely locked away. Only Metatron has keys to this complete library of your soul's imprint through all eternity. All the times you have wronged someone and all the times you have loved. All the words spoken in hatred and all the words of forgiveness. Deeds where you acted on your own interest, in your own interests and times you served the collective good. Lifetimes when you struggled and lifetimes when you enjoyed life's riches. You have sacrificed your life for another and you have taken a life. You have shone your light brightly and you have had times where you extinguished light. You have lived as male, female, black and white, a short life and a long life, a life with disability and a life in complete health. You have been good, bad and everything in between. Metatron knows the scorecard knows what you still need to work on, as well as the unique gifts that only you have to shine in this lifetime and bring all that experience back. No one is born without gifts or challenges to experience. You are asked now to look at any repetitive patterns, thoughts or situations that keep reoccurring in this life and ask whether it has roots in other lives. The one relationship you struggle with, the addiction you just can't kick, or the same mistakes being made over and over again. Metatron opens your book at the page you need to see right now. What is it that you need to work on? Let go of, forgive or heal. Alternatively, you may be shown a great attribute or quality that only you have. Reminded of wisdom buried within you wanting to be expressed, and highlighted again in this incarnation. Know that all is fair when looked at from an eternal perspective and entwined with the law of karma. The book's pages also reveal that you can ask for dispensation from old karmic ties and struggles if you have truly worked through the lessons and gifts that were within it. Ultimately, God or Source is the one that knows whether you have balanced your books or if our presence within this great galaxy has been beneficial and well spent, or when more still needs to be integrated and shown. 
It may also be that you are shown the Akashic records here because someone or something irritates and angers or upsets you. You are reminded that what you judge may well have been what you have been or done in another lifetime. So try to be compassionate with others who may be younger souls or simply may be completing the wheel of life and all its experiences, lessons and blessings in a different order than you. For now, meditate to contact, to connect to Metatron and see the huge symphony of your life set against many others. All you have been and all you will be. Wow. That's all I can say with that. Wow. That is so powerful. Now, we are constantly working on um ourselves looking back over the years of what we have been through what we have learned what we are how we're moving forward etc but this is talking about going back into past lives now i know some of you out there probably don't agree with past lives they do you don't believe that they actually exist that we're only here the once okay if that's the case then this message may not be for you or it's for you to just continue digging through your life now. But those of you that do believe that there are past lives, that you have been here before. Um, for me personally, I've had too many, too many things come up to make me feel that there's not a past life. OK, I know there's past lives um, for myself. I have experience things from past lives and it's not until you start uncovering that that you actually realize how it can be affecting um how you are today um yeah there's just there's lots there maybe it's time to start digging into the past lives trying to find out a bit more um contact a reader do a past um a life regression therapy things like that just look into um past lives there are actually readers on youtube that look at past lives etc um yeah maybe time to look and see whether there is something that is there that is of relevance okay so that is your message just keep doing that work you will be rewarded for it okay it is at the minute it's feeling like a long drawn out process Purely because normally we have, over the year, we have little bits dripped into us, little healings happening all the time. And the past few weeks has just been one massive clump. It's all clumped together and we're just having a big dollop of healing put on us. So, yes, it is a drawn out process at the minute because it is sort of like just following on and on and on. But just remember what you what you've got waiting for you at the other side what you've got waiting at the other side is these karmic completions karmic ties being dropped etc it's time to move forward and it's time to decide how you're going to do that without the baggage from the past okay so i hope that's resonated with you if it has please give me that thumbs up if you feel like it please click on that subscribe and i will see you again soon you take care bye bye